Okay, how are we all doing? I'm coming to you today, currently from a hotel room in Southampton. And if we look out the window, I can show you one of the many cruise ships that are parked up at the docks here. Can you see just over the top there, a little blue funnel of the ship? Um, yeah, there's a massive great big one with a log flume, or not log flume, what we're talking about, a flume slide, you know, like a tubey slide, which is parked across from the front of the hotel, parked, dogged, you know what I mean. Anyway, Mum and I had a lovely day in Southampton yesterday, really, really nice, um, very enjoyable, we went out for pub lunch, and then we did some shopping, we checked into the hotel, we did some shopping, we came back to the hotel and we sat in our room and drank some wine. Um, our rooms actually sat in my room. We've got interconnecting rooms. That door there is through to mum's room. Um, yeah, you can't sit in the hotel bar unless you order a meal, substantial meal, tier two rules thing. Um, so we didn't have a drink in the bar. We got some ice and some wine glasses and had some wine up here. We were, came prepared, you see. And then we went out for dinner, we went to Zizi for Italian food, which was very nice. And then we came back and drank some more wine and then went to bed. So a really nice day. We are, it's about, what time is it? 25 to nine. Um, sorry, I've got something in my eye, I think. It keeps them um, hugging me. Um, we're going out for breakfast. We're going to, the hotel here isn't doing breakfast because of COVID. Um, they're do, only doing like a bag of, they bring a bag of food outside your room. So we just got a room only booking here. And we are going over to the Premier Inn, which is not just literally the other side of the car park and having breakfast in their restaurant. That's the plan. Unless they don't let us have breakfast in their restaurant. Although I think anyone can go and have breakfast in their restaurant really. Um, and if not, we go to Bill's the second that's the, that's plan b then i want to pop back to john lewis to get something that i saw yesterday and didn't buy foolishly and then i think we're going to head home uh, i'm going to take mum home to hers obviously um i want to visit the charity shops uh, there's several good ones near where mum and dad live um so i'm going to go to those this afternoon or when we get back and then head back to devon um this afternoon that's the plan for today also important update i um decided that instead of going oh i'll get a garland for round the stairs next year and decorate that i decided that i would get a garland so i've ordered three three meter garlands i'm hoping that's going to be long enough because i didn't measure it because i ordered them when i was in bed and i couldn't get be bothered to get up and measure it um nine meters should be long enough i think um but we shall see. And they're coming on Saturday. When's Saturday? Saturday's tomorrow, isn't it? So yeah, they're coming on Saturday. My eyes, incidentally, are both exactly the same. This one looks way redder than the other one. I think it's just the way I'm sitting with the light. At least I hope it is. Light in here is terrible. Um, yeah, so the garland's coming on Saturday. Then I'm going to decorate it. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, that's it for the moment. I'll see you again in a bit. I've just, just got to say as well, I really like the shape of these chairs. Um, not two of them, one either side of the table. Um, they're not actually that comfortable. They're quite hard to sit on. But I think the shape of them is really nice. I feel like that would be a good shape for in our house. Maybe for dining chairs or something. I, know, I realise their armchairs are too low. But I really like the shape, so I just thought I'd film that so I can look back at it in future just walking through the village that I grew up in. There's two charity shops here. One hasn't opened. I just walked, one, one reopened a couple of months ago, which is a very good one. Everything two pounds and three pounds. And the other one hasn't reopened since the first lockdown. I always go and check whether it's opened or not. Um, and there's actually people in it. It's not open, but there were people in it stocking it. So that is a good sign. I reckon that will be reopened by next time I visit. So that's good. Home sweet home. It's three o'clock. Took me a long time to get home. The traffic was very busy. Unloaded the car. Got some good stuff in the charity shops. Um, 
yeah, I've unloaded the car and I'm just going to sit and whiz through my emails and um, I've got a telephone appointment with the doctor for a follow-up on my recent test results sometime after three so once I've had that and done my emails I think I might treat myself to a lazy rest of the afternoon oh exciting news though the garlands have arrived so that's good honestly considering I've spent most of the last two days either in the car or sitting having fun with my mum or shopping I feel absolutely exhausted really do just got to show you i bought a few bits in john lewis and these are still wrapped up i'm going to give those to ashley later they're just tree decorations but um he wants to open them <laughs> bless him so look at this gorgeous peacock of dreams it's pink it, you can't really sit let me put it over by the window the lights make it look orange but isn't that just beautiful i'm going to have it on the top of my new tree that we're going to get tomorrow i don't know if you can have a peacock on the top of a christmas tree but i'm going to so there <laughs> i think you meant to have a star or a fairy or something aren't you but i am going to have a peacock or if it's not on the top of the tree very close to the top of the tree i wanted to get one of these last year i saw one in john lewis and exeter wasn't this color can't remember the color may have been white um but I didn't buy it. I was with Kirsten. I hummed and hard whether I was going to buy it, and I didn't. And then I went back to John Lewis and Exeter later, near Christmas, um, with Ashley. Went to buy it. Decided I was going to buy it. Went to buy it. And they'd run out. They'd finished. There were no more peacocks. And I was so desperate. I'm not desperate because you're not desperate for a bloody feathery peacock, are you? But I was so keen to get hold of one that I even tried online, and they'd run out online as well. So. I thought I would have one this year, so quite pleased with that. Um, my garlands have arrived. Look, here they are. Um, not as puffy as I thought they might be. However, I think that's pretty good. I think that will make them twist around the rail better. Um, I don't know if I've got the wherewithal to put them up today, but if not today, then tomorrow. And this has also arrived, which is something I saw in the Good Food magazine that I bought last week. Um, let me go and open it up and I'll show you what it is. So this is what this says. I don't know if you've heard of black cow vodka. I've heard of it before. It's made from some sort of milk. I assume it's cow's milk actually because it's called black cow. Um, sorry, I've just got distracted by a bird outside. On um, Yeah, it's made from cow's milk, I think. Vodka distilled from cow's milk. I don't know how they do it. But this is Christmas spirit and... <laughs> It says, Christmas in a glass, all the ingredients of Christmas pudding steeped in our velvety smooth vodka. And it just sounded so lovely. And it says you can add it to champagne. Well, that would wait, ruin champagne. I'd add it to Prosecco, probably. Um, with a twist of orange zest or simply drink neat over ice. And yeah, I just thought it's, uh, let me have, give it a little smell. Um, pop you there. Hang on, I'm going to talk about these multivitamins. There we are. I haven't turned the light on in here, so it's quite dark. But um, it just... And that would be the door. It was a delivery. An exciting delivery from a subscriber, which I may or may not show you when I've opened it, depending on what it is. So, Black Cow Vodka, Christmas Spirit Vodka. Oh! Smells like a mince pie, an alcoholic mince pie. I'm excited to drink that. Reckon that would be lovely. Very nice indeed. Oh, I could just drink a glass of it now, but I mustn't. Right, sorry, I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs. Um, we've got two days worth of advent calendar to do, haven't we? So let's go, I actually took out yesterday's but I didn't feel myself taking it out I haven't read about it or anything but it looked like it was an improvement so that's good let's go and see what we've got. just got to say a massive shout out to the subscriber I'm so sorry I can't remember who it was who said why don't you turn the drawers round when you've opened them and slot them back in the other way and it would be easier to see the ones that you haven't done what a brilliant idea how did I not think of this 
So I'm very happy with that. And number 11 is here. As I said, I already got number 10 out, so it feels little for sure. Yes, that, okay. Right, let's turn you round and put you back in. Such a good idea. Honestly, just brilliant, that. Oh my goodness, after all my moaning in my last video, I think I might have to eat some of my words. Right. Yesterday's um, number 10. Yesterday was the 10th. This was what was in the calendar yesterday. This is QMS Lip Line Corrector. And it is 15 mils and it is a full size. Hurrah! Let me just balance you. Hang on two sets because I need to show you this because it's quite clever. Sorry, I know it's getting dark. I just wanted to try and avoid it turning the lights on quite yet. So this is what it looks like and you... Hang on, I can't do it now. You turn it like that and the little pop-up thingy comes out. That's clever, isn't it? All in one, it comes up and down. I like that, good packaging. But this is for sale in this full size on Liberty's own website and on the brand's own website for 155 English pounds. Yes. 155 pounds. Right, let me read to you about it. it. I am a high performance lip serum with a f with fourfold hyaluronic acid wakame seed extract. No idea. No idea. And phytosterols. Again, no idea. I perform a three phase lifting action to treat fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth. I am best applied twice a day consistently for a noticeably plumper pout. I think I will do a little test with this probably next month, January, and apply it twice a day and do before and after photos and see if it actually does anything because if people are paying £155 for it, presumably it must do something, right? And I've got plenty of fine lines and wrinkles around my lips. And I'd like a plumper pout. So, I like this. You have redeemed yourself a little, Liberté. Right, today's offering is this, which is Melon and Guts. Guts? Guts? Guts, I feel like. Um, Meadow Foam Oil Balm. And this is 30 mils. Um, a full so let me read it to you first. I am a natural, multitasking, water-free hydration formula for face, hair, and body. Face, hair, and body. I'm not sure I'd want the same product put on face, hair, and body. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't put this on my hair anyway. Um, meadow foam seed oil. Who knows? And 17 botanical oils and butters. Moisturise, nourish, soothe and protect with a rich melty texture. Use me as an after sun, hand cream, makeup remover, primer, face mask or to treat chapped lips, rough skin and dry patches. Right, it's 30 gram size as I said. Um, 113 grams which is the full size. It's £38, so it's around a tenner-ish um, is the value of this one. £10, approximately. I've just put some on the back of my hand, and I have to say it feels like an absolutely lovely product. It's um, really rich and moisturising. It's sink soaking into the back of my hand. It feels, um, yeah, somewhere between a butter and an oil, but not oily. It doesn't leave a sort of oily slip on your hands or on your skin. Um, I think that would be lovely for um, particularly dry patches like on your elbows and things. Um, it smells really nice as well. Couldn't tell you what it smells of. Perhaps it smells of meadow foam seed oil, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, nice product, I think. Would have been nice to have it in a slightly more generous size, Liberty, but hey, I guess I can't complain after the £155 lip serum, can I? Oh, I've had such a lovely shower. I've taken my makeup off, had a shower. Sorry about the light. Um, and unpacked and feel somewhat revived. So I'm going to see if I can put these... Um, sorry, scratching my nose. I just I edit so many bits out where I scratch my nose. I reckon I must have a particularly itchy nose for some reason. No idea why. Um, 
So, I'm going to put these, I'm not going to decorate it tonight, but I'm just going to see if they're, we've got the right length there. Um, not quite as bushy as the other one I've got, but I knew that because they were cheaper. So, yes, let's see how that goes. Well, that's bloody annoying, isn't it? It's not quite long enough on this end. So, I haven't fluffed it up yet either. It looks a bit rubbish. But, um, yeah, that's really annoying. I'm going to have to order another one. But good news is that this came quicker than it said it would. So, if I order another one tonight, it'll probably be here by middle of next week hopefully well I'm quite pleased with it I think I've decorated it a bit with bits and pieces I think it's quite pretty Let's see what Ashley thinks when he gets home it's just after six and he's been pottering around tidying up Doing some not very exciting bits and pieces. Ashley is cooking dinner tonight. He's just phoned. He's on his way home from work. Um, I think we're having tapas for dinner. Not sure exactly what because he was deciding. So that's nice. I'm glad I haven't got to cook tonight. And then tomorrow we're going out to get our Christmas tree and we're going out for a very nice lunch as well. So very much looking forward to tomorrow. And it's only a few days now until Will comes home as well, which is also lovely. Sorry, I'm carrying candles over here. That's why I was just strange angle. I need more hands than I've got. Anyway, I think I'm going to call this a vlog. Um, it's been a bit of a short one today. Oh, hang on, my phone's ringing. I'm going to call this a vlog. Actually, we haven't done the charity, have we? Should we go and quickly do the charity? I think we should, don't you? Because I didn't do one yesterday. Also, thank you very much for all your lovely feedback on the video with Ashley. Um, I'm going to show him some of it this evening when he comes home. Seems she all really enjoyed it, which was good because we enjoyed filming it as well. So I'm glad it got such a good reception from you guys. Right, let me pop you down a minute and we'll choose a charity. Right, today's charity nomination is from MB. Um, and she or he says, I would like to nominate Mencap as a charity who do great work for all folk with disabilities. I worked for the nursery in Belfast for nine years as the secretary and it was an amazing job. Um, I don't know loads about Mencap, so I'm going to educate myself a little bit about it when I look it up and do the donation shortly. Um, thank you very much MB for that nomination. I will be donating to them this evening and you will see the screenshot or as the last shot of this video right that's it from me today i will see you again tomorrow thanks for watching guys bye bye